The next type of differential equation we're going to look at solving is what are called exact differential equations. So our question is going to be, how do we solve exact equations? And as with any other type of differential equation, we're going to first seek to identify that it is exact. And we're going to actually set up this identification a little bit backwards. Let's say we know the solution is some function of x and y is equal to a constant. That is the solution. Some notation that we've seen from calculus is that the partial of f with respect to x can be written as f sub x. And the partial of f with respect to y can be written f sub y. It turns out that sometimes the differential equation can be written in the form of the partial of f with respect to x times dx plus the partial of f with respect to y times dy is equal to 0. And if this is the case, it should be really easy to identify because we can take the partial of f with respect to x and take its partial with respect to y. Then we can take the partial of f with respect to y and take its partial with respect to x. Because what we remember from our study of calculus is those partials of x then y or y then x are actually equal to each other. That's how we identify it is exact. So if we suspect we have an exact equation, we'll take the partial of the dx part with respect to y and the partial of the dy part with respect to x. If those both give us the same function, then we have a exact equation. So what's our strategy? Well, for our strategy, if I were to integrate the partial of f with respect to x, that's going to equal some function f plus maybe a g function that all has y's in it. That's essentially a constant function in terms of x. And if I integrate the partial with respect to y dy, that's going to give me the f function plus another function in terms of x, because that's a constant in terms of y. And so what we can do is we can combine these together to get f plus the g of y function plus the h of x function, or the f of x y function is equal to a constant, which is what we said at the very beginning was the solution. Let's take a look at what this looks like in some examples. Let's try y cubed dx plus 3xy squared dy equals 0. Now, if I want to check if this is a exact equation, we take the dx part and take its partial derivative with respect to the other variable y of the y cubed. That's going to be 3y squared. On the dy part, we take its partial derivative with respect to x of the 3xy squared. Its partial derivative is 3y squared. And you notice those are exactly the same, so we have an exact equation. If we have an exact equation, we're going to integrate the dx part and integrate the dy part to solve for our function. Integrating y cubed dx is just y cubed times x. Integrating 3xy squared dy is going to be xy cubed. And so for our final answer, 
we're going to take the pieces from the first integral and add any missing pieces from the second integral. Putting things in alphabetical order, we've got x, y cubed from the first integral. Notice the second integral is the same exact thing. So there's nothing new to add. So we're just going to say that equals our constant. And that is the solution to my differential equation. If it's exact, we just have to integrate both parts and combine together the pieces to make our function. Let's try another one. Let's do 6xy minus y cubed dx plus 4y plus 3x squared minus 3xy squared dy equals 0. If I suspect we have an exact equation, we'll take the partial with respect to y of the dx part, 6xy minus y cubed, and the partial with respect to x of the dy part, 4y plus 3x squared minus 3xy squared. When we do that, the partial with respect to y is 6x minus 3y squared. The second one, the partial with respect to x, 4y is a constant. That goes to 0. The 3x squared becomes 6x minus the partial with respect to x becomes 3y squared. And you notice those are exactly the same. And so we know we have an exact equation. To solve the exact equation, we're just going to integrate the dx part and the dy part. So we'll integrate 6xy minus y cubed dx. And then we'll integrate 4y plus 3x squared minus 3xy squared dy. Integrating with respect to x, we get 3x squared y minus xy cubed for the first integral. The second integral, integrating with respect to y, gives us 2y squared plus 3x squared y minus xy cubed. We combine those together, no repeats, in order to generate our exact solution. So I've got 3x squared y. It's in both parts. Don't need to repeat it. Minus, we've got an xy cubed. That one turns out to be in both parts. Plus, we still need this 2y squared equals my constant. And that becomes the solution to my exact equation. It doesn't matter if the term appears in the left or the right or in both. If it appears in either of the solutions to the integral, it needs to be in the final solution. These are pretty straightforward. So all that's left is for you to practice these and get comfortable with identifying exact equations and then walking through the process to solve the exact equations. So try some of the homework. Let me know if you have any questions. Good luck.